Hello Math Learners! Welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. We have already discussed the several relationship of arcs to the central angle, arcs to chords, as well as the related terms about circles. Today, we're going to discuss the last relationship among arcs and that is all about the arcs and inscribed angles. So in this video, you will know the theorems behind the relationship as well as sample problems about this topic. But before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners! Welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. This is still your free access math teacher Ash and today, we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency-based lesson for quarter two of the grade 10 mathematics, which is all about the relationship of arcs and inscribed angles. The question is, what is an arc? If you could still remember our definition, an arc is a part of the circumference of the circle. An inscribed angle is defined as two chords that connect in a common endpoint, which forms an angle. And that point lies on the circle. Now, what are the relationships about arcs and inscribed angles? We will talk four theorems that will support this relationship. Theorem number one states that the measurement of an inscribed angle is exactly one half to its intercepted arc. And the intercepted arc is twice the measurement of its inscribed angle. What do I mean by this? Example, if you have this as an inscribed angle and this measures 60 degrees then the intercepted arc is 120 degrees meaning that the inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc and the intercepted arc is twice the measure of its inscribed angle easy right now let's go to the theorem number two now theorem number two states that given that there are two inscribed angles and these inscribed angles intercepted the same arc then the two inscribed angles are congruent now what do i mean by this as you can see here this is one inscribed angle and this is another inscribed angle and they have a common intercepted arc if this intercepted arc let's say that is 100 degrees then the inscribed angle is 50 degrees if this is 50 degrees, then might as well, this angle is also 50 degrees. Because, remember, that intercepted arc is twice the measurement of its inscribed angle. And the inscribed angle is half the measurement of its intercepted arc. Easy, right? Now, let us go to the third theorem. Theorem number three states that if an inscribed angle intercepts a diameter or a semicircle then that inscribed angle is a right angle now as you can see in this example we have here our inscribed angle right now the intercepted arc of this angle inscribed angle is a semicircle or basically the diameter now if that is the case this will give you a 90 degree angle or a right angle why is that so remember that the intercepted arc, which is this one, is a semicircle that is 180 degrees. And half of 180 is the measurement of your inscribed angle, is 90 degrees, which is a right angle. Easy, right? Now, let's go to our fourth theorem. Theorem number four states that if a quadrilateral, meaning four-sided polygon, is inscribed in a circle, then the opposite angles of that quadrilateral is supplementary. Now, what do I mean by this? Let's say this is point A, point B, point C, and point D. So this is an angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D. Based on the theorem number 4, if you add angle A plus angle C, that is both op opposite angles of this quadrilateral, then the total measurement is 180 degrees because it is supplementary. Same goes if you add angle B to angle D, the answer is still 180. 
180 degrees. And that is the four theorems that talks the relationship of the arcs and the inscribed angle. Now, let us have the sample problems for us to have a concrete understanding about this topic. Okay, math learners, let's try to solve these exercises for us to have a concrete idea about the relationship of arcs and the inscribed angle. Now, we have our first figure, the circle Q. As you can see in the circle Q, there are three inscribed angles given. The angle ZDE, the angle EDO, and the angle ZDO. But what we are owed to find is the measurement of arc OE, which is this one, and the measurement of angle EDZ. EDZ, so this is the one. Okay. Remember our first theorem that the measurement of the inscribed angle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. And its intercepted arc is twice the measurement of its inscribed angle. Now, this is the inscribed angle and this is its intercepted arc. So, if this is 23, then in order for us to get the intercepted arc, you just multiply it by 2. So, therefore, you will have 46 degrees. So, therefore, our arc OE is equal to 46 degrees. Easy, right? Now, let us go here. The given is an intercepted arc and the inscribed angle is unknown. So, therefore, the inscribed angle is one half of the intercepted arc. So, that is 84 divided by 2 and the answer is 42 degrees. So, therefore, the measurement of angle EDZ is 42 degrees. Easy, right? So, now let us go to our second figure. This is circle A with a central angle that is angle TAH and an inscribed angle that is T M H. Okay. So, these are the problems. What is the measurement of T M H? T M H. So, this is the unknown. Okay. What is the measurement of angle T A H? So, this is the unknown. Okay. And what is the measurement of the arc T M H? T M H. So, this other side of the arc. And what is the measurement? of T, M, H, and T, H. Okay. Of course, math learner, the easiest problem here is this one. Seems quite challenging, but this is the easiest. Why? R, T, H is this one, and R, T, M, H is this one. Basically, it concludes the whole circle. And if that's the case, then the answer of this one is automatically 360 degrees. Easy, right? Okay. Now, let us go here. Since this is 78, our arc TH is 78. Then, remember our lesson in arcs and central angle that the intercepted arc and the central angle are equal. So, therefore, if this is 78, then this is also 78 degrees. So, therefore, TAH is 78 degrees. Now, how about the inscribed angle? Remember, in theorem number 1, that the intercepted arc is twice the measurement of the inscribed angle. So, therefore, we just need to get the half of this intercepted arc for us to get the measurement of the inscribed angle. So, what is half of 78? And that is 39. Okay. So, the measurement of angle TMH is 39. Easy, right? So now let us go to our arc TMH. This is the one. Okay. So remember, this is 360. You already have the 78. So what you will do is you just subtract 360 to 78. That is 282. Okay. Degrees. And that answer our second figure. Easy, right? Now let us go to our third figure. This is... This is an application of our theorem number 3 in which an inscribed angle intercepted a semicircle or a diameter. Okay. So it is said here that the measurement of arc ID is 125. Okay. So what is the measurement of arc RD? RD. Okay. Of course, since this is RD, 
that is a semicircle, right? So that is automatically 180 degrees. Easy, right? Now let us go to the measurement of angle IRD. Since this is 125, and that is the intercepted arc of this angle. So what you will do is you just divide it by 2. So 125 is 62.5. Easy, right? Because 62.5 times 2 is 125. Okay, now let us go to our third angle. The measurement of angle RID. RID. Of course, it is very obvious of this given symbol or a right angle. So therefore, this is automatically 90 degrees. And for the last question, what is the measurement of arc RI? Okay, so you will get this one. Subtract this. Subtract this from 180 and you will get this remaining here. Okay, so how do we do that? Since this is a diameter, this is 180, of course. So you already have the 125. So what is the number that is needed by 125 in order for it to become 180? And that is 55 degrees. Okay, very good. So basically, this is 55 degrees. So 55 plus 125, that gives you 180. And if you want to get the value of this angle, of course, you just divide this by 2, and that is 27.5 degrees. Because 27.5 times 2 is 55. Is it right? So I hope you have a wonderful time learning the relationship of the arcs and inscribed angle. Now, this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our topic, and here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you have learned so much about our lesson for today. This is still your free access math teacher, Ash. Thank you for subscribing, liking this, and sharing this to your fellow friends, classmates, and schoolmates. Always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. God bless, take care, and keep safe always. Congratulations, math learners, for arriving to this part of the video. If you think that this video has helped you, click that like button and if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics do not forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell thank you